Hello everyone, my name is Dan. Welcome back to the next episode of Getting Started with Monogame. Alright, so last episode we made this screen manager class. Uh, but there was no way at the time to obviously change between screens. There was a way to set a screen, but there was no way ever to change between screens. So let's let's do that in this episode. But first, let's simplify our eye screen. So we need a way to say what type of screen these are. Um, we could go with the usual way, which is just to do a bit of reflection and check what the type is. Or, or, or we can do go a little bit easier and just go with an enum. So we'll do that way first. So let's create a new item within the screens folder and just call it screen type. And this is going to be an enum. So a public enum screen type. And here we're going to define our, our set of uh, screen types. So we've got splash for now. Right. Let's head over back to ice screen. And now our ice screen interface is going to have a way to say what type of screen type it is. So let's just give it a screen type, screen type, and give it a getter as well. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we need to fix up our splash screen. So in ice screen and in splash screen, let's implement the screen type here and instead of throwing an exception let's just pass back screen type dot splash so now it's we, we we know the splash screen knows that it's of types of splash okay so that's that fixed up we've got a way to know what type of screens we have dealing with so let's close this now let's change our screen manager a little bit Instead of setting the screen like this, uh, we can change this a little bit to instead take a screen type. So the screen type, screen type. And then we need a way to use this. So for now, let's just remove line 14. We don't need it. Okay, so it's all, it's all well and good uh, to set the screen like this, but we have no way to instantiate a screen this way um, unless we already have a set of screens we can choose from. So yet, yeah, uh, say you call and set screen, uh, say with splash, we need the screen manager to go, okay, so I'm looking for a splash screen. Uh, but we've got nowhere to choose a splash screen from. So let's do that. Let's create um, on the screen manager a new collection, an iRead only collection. Is that how I spell read only? I don't know, capital O, probably capital O. Read only collection of iScreen and call it screens like this. Uh, import that the using system collections dot generic. There we go. <clears throat> so now we've got this collection of screens that we need to initialize somehow, and the best place to do that is in a constructor. So let's create a constructor for the screen manager that takes an iRead only collection of iScreen screens, and then we can set this uh, local private field to local private field, this private field to that. So screens equals screens. There we go. So now when we instantiate a screen manager, we're going to expect the user at the beginning to pass in a collection of screens that will be used throughout the game. So a main menu screen, a game screen, a splash screen will all be passed in. And then when we go to set the screen, we have something to find uh, the screen in, right? So let's let's do a let's do it the we can do it link or we can do it the simple way. So let's do it for the simple way for now. So for each for each screen in the screen set, we can do if the screen dot screen type is equal to the screen type that's been passed in, like this, like this. Um, then we can set uh, next screen equal to that screen, and then we can return. Okay. So now when you call set screen with a, with a particular screen type, say splash, it's going to go through every single screen in this list. Uh, it's going to check if the screen type is matching the screen type you've passed in. And if it is, we can set the next screen to that screen. Very simple. And probably a lot better as well than how we did, had it originally, because it, this is just, it's a lot easier to initialize listeners and actions, but we'll get to that later. Okay, so we need to fix up where we initialize screen manager. So in game one, you can see on line 36 that we've actually created a screen manager. 
Uh, this isn't ideal. Uh, we need to change this now. So instead of having the screen manager initialize on line 36, let's cut that out and paste it on line 47 instead. So anywhere within load content is probably fine as long as it's below the content loading. Okay. And as you can see, at the moment, we are actually passing a screen, which is not the correct behavior anymore, to set screen. Instead of that, we're going to cut this splash screen out of here instead and pass this as an argument to the screen manager. So as the screen manager takes uh, a collection of screens, we're going to pass in an array of them. So a new I screen array like this. And inside the array, we want that new splash screen. There we go. <clears throat> so what's happening here? Uh, we're creating a new screen manager and we're passing in a collection of screens. And the only collection, the only screen in that at the moment is a new splash screen, but we'll fill this right up. And then into screen manager, we're adding those screens. We're setting this, this collection equal to those screens we've passed it. So we have them as a reference. Great. And then when we're setting the screen, we can instead pass screen type dot splash. And what's happening? We're selecting our, setting our collection of screens here. And then when we're calling set screen, we're going into this method. And we're going to go over every single screen in that loop until we find a screen with the matching screen type. And because we have one, it's this one here. It's going to set the next screen to that and return. And then we can switch to the next screen. So it should all work exactly as expected. Run it. And there we go. We've cleaned up how our screens are working. Now, that's enough for this episode. Um, I hope you got something from this. If you have any comments or any suggestions, then please obviously uh, let me know in the comment section. Uh, if I'm going too fast, or you want something broken down a little bit more, please let me know as well. Um, I'm never too sure of, of what kind of stuff to explain. Um, but yeah, next time we're going to actually get these linked up so the screen manager can start switching screens from the splash screen so the splash screen can start saying hey i want i want you to change to the main menu screen and we're going to start transitioning between stuff it'll be a lot easier um i might do a little mini episode of just getting all this set up with dependency injection if you're interested please let me know but other than that yep thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time goodbye